do want to pivot and uh, talk about something on a more serious note. Yes, I really believe this is one of the most beautiful pieces we've ever done on this show. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, this is a phenomenal exhibit, and you just have to see this piece. Since 2011, I've been photographing cotton a lot. I really felt like I felt my family when I was in a cotton field. Because I could see a big whole things of cotton and I'm swearing I'm seeing people moving and people doing things, you know, and there's nobody there. It's just my brain taking off. And I said to Francis, my wife, I said, slaves didn't run away in the daytime. Therefore, I say, like, I got to go photograph at night. If I thought I heard and saw things in the daytime, at night they got carried away. That one over there is dreaming of the wedding. So one thing we could do, at times, some of us could get married. And so you had to be jumping the broom. I did some spiritual drawing in there with my lights. I get a feeling from that to try to imagine, like, the night before you know, your wedding. And this show is about dealing with the dark. For example, there's one piece down here. I woke up, this is Francis. What would I be dreaming if I was gonna run away tomorrow morning? I put a series of images together which took information from the uh, Underground Railroad and things, and I put all of those in that piece down there, which is 16 feet long. It cannot be seen at one glance. You got to walk and go through it. See, I get an idea and I'm lost, you know, and I keep going till I find it and work it out. I dreamt it and now it's here. So this is called Ancestral Visions of a Runaway. This is sort of a, a, an imagined voyage because how can you imagine people travel two or 300 miles with no map? In those days, we didn't have the green book. You know that the uh, uh, moss grows on the north side of the tree. You take that. You know you gotta go get to the water, and you're hoping to get to the water. The reason to get to the water is they're coming with dogs. Dogs can't track you in the water, so you get to the water. Around this, I'm hearing my grandmother sing spirituals. My grandmother used to hum and sing to me a lot. And when I'm out shooting in a thing, I hear my grandmother a lot. Hey, if I'm asking my child, some meat and me. When people come through here and walk through it, what do you want them to walk out of here with? I want them to just think and imagine for themselves you know, about their past, about their ancestors, whether they're white or black, their ancestors. Ain't nothing done, man. Our connection to the past, that's so important. And I think the more we can connect to our past, other people will connect to their past, and we can start becoming more together. And that's the ultimate goal. Besides making good pictures. So important, so beautiful. Go check it out. It's at the Arthur Ross Gallery at the University of Pennsylvania through December 18th.